Anyway, lovers, so guys, welcome again to another episode of Train the Giddyway. So, to all my new subscribers, welcome to the Giddyway family. And you have, if this is the first time you're watching my video, you have watched it before, you have watched other video. There's a lot more for you to learn. So, guys, I have an idea. So, you drop your comment what you think about this idea. I want to create a group, a WhatsApp group, a link. I'll drop a link where you guys will join that link will help you whenever style you practice on my channel you get to send it for me for correction so i don't know what you guys think but drop it on the comment section and please always share share let's keep doing it the kitty way so for today's style uh, it's a circle style but i want to use the normal 90 sego the style i wanted to tie is the data the style i want to tie is the Delta Gele. They want to have a big fan, then rough by the side. But normally, this is not the Gele used in tying it. But I want to try because I'm it's getting that fabric has been hard for me. So whenever I travel, I always forget. But I will try to get it because there are some styles I want to use that particular scarf. It's always wide and it's two yards. So I, there's some styles I would like to tie for you guys, but I've not been able to get. The fabric yeah i've not been able to get the fabric so let me use this one that is available to also show you because that one is big you can see this is thin that one is always white it's always white so guys i will tie it and you all can try it with that one all right so let's go the giddy way first of all what we do this one is 90 so i'm gonna take this year i'm gonna take this year now I'm taking little, uh, but the little this time is going to be big because that one is two yards and this is nine. Uh, this now is 90. 90 is more than two yards. So we just take little to pick. Normally, on that one, what you do also is take little. What you do also is take little. So what I do, I make my pleats. I make my pleats. Okay. Now, please always note yeah is wrong. Here yeah, is wrong. Arrange it. Use the edge control to arrange it. Then place on the airline. Please hold it. Thank you. So now, always arrange. You arrange it. Arrange. Please, any gilly you are tying, the arrangement matters a lot. Whatever gilly you are tying, the arrangement matters a lot. Please, the arrangement. Always try to arrange it very well and if you have not watched any of my fan video fan the full fan video using sego full fan video using ashoke you can just type it or search down and you will see this style and watch and share watch and share so what you do the short one is always up you arrange the short one this short one up then you arrange it then you arrange this longer one please arrange properly now you arrange okay give her this one to hold you can see the ears are still closed ears are still closed it's okay it's okay now now let me tell you for something that will, you should correct when tying that one now you see this now this one now if i want to break this one i'll break it up to this extent i'll break it above the middle but that one is white so you break a lot of plates you make a lot of plates like you make a lot of well arranged plates you can pick it like this first pick it like this then you raise it up you raise it you arrange look at you arrange 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 you get you arrange it more then before you start breaking big big plates i can say okay i've arranged now this is that kind of fun i'm looking for i'll start breaking the big, big plates i'll arrange arrange i just hope i've not too over arranged it now you will notice when you are building your fan some might get smaller you use the bigger ones to cover it up so what we do we arrange Now 
now with this i am doing showing that my fan is going to be low so i'm going to try to relieve some just relieve some so that i start on time now i'll break so what do i do this small year big year now we watch let's see this time now small year big year let's see if so now you this with this now you will understand that when you want to get a high fan you pleat little but that one is white so you pleat almost to the middle then you can start breaking you get because that one is white i don't know if you understand so this one now is small that's why so you break now just watch and don't forget the method the small big small big we'll go again you can see it's coming out big okay so we'll go now you must have seen some people when they tie their fan once they break one they use pin once they break one they use pin i don't think we'll be doing that here you can see So you can see how it is here. So all we just do the break. Break. Now that you have gotten it up to this extent, in order for us to drop it, in order for us now to drop it or we'll interchange it, the up becomes the up now. This place becomes small. Here becomes big. Now watch how I'm gonna pick it. So you get you arrange it. This is sego and it's very slippery, so you have to be careful, careful, and you must make sure everything is on top of each other. You must make sure everything is on top of each other. That's how we break it and it will end here. Alright now. This is the gilly. A half fan. Normal data gilly. A half fan. Then if it's that data circle we are using, which is the paper gilly, you will see the fan will end here. Now what do we not do? Once it ends here, most times, look for any excess. Any excess at the back. You bring it forward. To hold. You bring it forward. Now that you have brought it forward, you pin. Be careful, you bring forward, then you pin. So you get, so you see, half did it now. So here is your hand to go through this one, like this. So we got the half we are looking for. The half circle we are looking for. This is the half we are looking for. We get this is the half we are looking for. This is the half circle we are looking uh, the half fan we are looking for. So when you break, now you should always learn the process of how when you raise it, you drop it. Now what do we not do? We'll do what they normally do here. We'll do what they normally do here. They will use here to ruffle. But how do we do that now? First thing first. She will leave this one, put here, and here. Mm. Now, first of all, you take two. You take from those one. You take two. You take two from here, and this long, this short one. Normally, the way we used to normally pin, you drag it and you pin. You start to let us know. Is it right? Right. Yes. Okay, now you see now we have this as excess. So what do we do? Okay, we have pin. Uh, please move around. We have pin now. So yeah, like this now. It's not up to you whatever you create with here because now it's sego, so it's easy to break. It's easy to ruffle. 
most times you just see some people just go for it and they join it like this you get how they join it so it's up to you the way you can do so now i'm going to be creative my own way let me try to hold it this way then i'll tell her to put her hands here so i'll go and pin it later see then i'm trying to link it Trying to lick it, I still give it a style. Then I'll pin here so that it throws together. Then I try to pin here too so that it won't there won't be any hold at all. So Now you see the way here is now. How should you do? Move around now. Get look up. The way it is now. Just go. I look for somewhere here. Anywhere you are. Just drag it back. So you just pin. So you pin here now. What's a pin here? Okay. not notice that it was not recording now you can see what we have so like here now i'll just join them so that to be nice join then i pin i join it i pin whatever you think you want to pin you can see look at it at the back okay you want to still pin it you pin it now you look at the shape the shape of the gilly you are good to go so this is a data gilly and with very soon if i get the actual paper gilly i'll use it to tie this tie but this is how you can also use to tie it it's just that that one is white so you just take some caution because it will be more your hand when you're tying you tie to your pleats to the middle then you span so this is how it is